Hi everyone and welcome. How are all of you doing? I am Chaitanya. You're watching Chai with Chaitanya. This is a place where I talk about books, movies, and fandom. Extremely excited today because I will be talking about So This Is Ever After by S. T. Lukens. And for those of you who do not know, S. T. Lukens is the author of In Deeper Waters, which was a book that I absolutely love. This is one of my all-time favorite books. It's one of my comfort reads. So when this book was announced, I was extremely hyped, and this in fact was one of my most anticipated releases from 2022. Ever since I got to see the cover reveal, and if you see the cover, it's absolutely gorgeous. In fact, the back cover is also very pretty. This is not the final cover, as this is the advanced reviewer's copy, but the final dust jacket, which looks something like this. has all the other characters because this book has a lot of characters which i'll be getting into in a minute are all there and it looks beautiful i can't wait to get my hands in that as well so going ahead and talking about my feelings about this book and what i thought so if you have not subscribed please do that and if you have subscribed then what are we waiting let's go to thank S T Lukens the author themselves for sending across this advanced reviews copy to me for reading and reviewing i had the opportunity to talk at great length and pour my entire heart out with S T uh for in deeper waters which you can find right up here the conversation it is a conversation where S T reveals a lot of things not only about this particular book but also about this one so be sure to check that out so now coming to this book and talking about what exactly you can expect what is the story like so this book follows a group of six people who are very different very unique from one another very adorable and yet at the same time have their own messy mysterious past and they are all sticking together because they have a quest to go on to and they are kind of bound by that quest and they're not exactly outcasts but it's just that they really don't have anybody else who they can count on so they all count on one another so it is like a found family trope that you begin with the leader of this group is Eric who is uh, this guy absolutely charming as you can see and he is the chosen one he is the person who fulfills the prophecy that was prophesized and now that they have completed the prophecy which was to kill the wild one who is this sort of this monster kind of a character who was ruling a kingdom and he was creating havoc so now that they have killed uh the wild one they now have to figure out what to do next like which quest to go on to next but that kind of takes a back seat they realize that the kingdom that they just saved from the wild one has nobody to rule and because eric was the person who kind of killed the wild one he by default becomes the new king and eric is anything but willing to become the king because that was not his plan and all this group of people are also not very sure of whether they want to stay in the castle and whether this is a the life they envision for themselves this group of people have to basically decide how to go forward considering the fact that there are magical very very serious magical enchantments and laws that are kind of holding back eric to this place and he cannot really leave even if he wants to and that includes coming up with a plan that would enforce the fact that either they stay here or they kind of you know get free from this so what will happen how will it happen and all of that is for you to find out and if i say anything more than this then it will potentially become a spoiler ahead and talking about all the things that i really enjoyed about this book and why i feel that you should be checking it out so of course the first thing that i want to talk about is the characters i felt that the characters are at the heart of the story I feel that the characters were so well written and I don't know what it is with FT but every time they create characters it becomes so real and it becomes so funny and because I had the opportunity to speak to FT I think that is just how and who FT is as a person so it kind of reflects in in the characters they create as well they all say such funny things and they all are so human and every time they do something all i want to do is to actually go and protect them physically this book my favorite character definitely has to be leela who is 
kind of a thief. She loves stealing shiny things and she is also friends with a crow and that crow is equal parts frightening and equal parts absolutely hilarious and every time they had a scene going on here I was just rolling on my bed and laughing out loud. That brings me to the second thing that I wanted to discuss and that is the writing and world building. I feel that the writing and the world building is just as evocative lyrical, lush, colourful as it was in, in Deeper Waters and I felt that if there was ever given a choice for me to visit either of these two places I would have a really hard time because considering the fact that even though these two worlds felt very similar they were still very different in the way the magic and the laws and everything that existed within these two cultures and worlds and I for one cannot pick which was better or which one I would pick and I'm talking about the plot as well as the romance and the reason why I'm talking about both of these things at once is because I felt that this book is a very highly romance driven fantasy and that's such a good thing in its own way because every time I have personally picked up a romance based fantasy I have actually ended up disliking it and even in some extent DNFing the book however that was really not the case here and in here we have the best friends to lovers trope which is arguably one of my favorite tropes and I really love it more than enemies to lovers so I was very happy to see that happening in here and the plot is structured in such a way where the romance is at center as I said earlier and I felt that it's such an interesting thing to do because one it provided for a lot of dialogue and discussion between Eric who is kind of the main character and also the rest of the characters because since there are too many characters and again I'm not a fan of books with too many characters but just in some way some form FT has always been able to do that like even with their last book in deeper waters which I loved absolutely and I will keep saying that until you pick that book up if you haven't and in that book as well and in this book as well they have completely created this sort of equation with all the side characters in such a way where they all feel relevant they all feel required in the story and their use and their purpose is just not limited to the you know the kind of role that they're given in response to drive the main plot forward that is to say that they have certain parts which kind of have their own overarching story or their own overarching narrative being played in the background and I think that's what happens here as well we get to meet each of these six characters who are very different from one another and through their interactions with Eric we get to learn how uh, they are all you know different and what are the things that they like dislike who they are what their pasts are what are what they excel in and so on and so forth overall and finally I ended up giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars and the only reason I deducted those 0.5 stars was because I just felt that In Deeper Waters was such a high benchmark that FT set for themselves and even though this book came very close it kind of fell a little short of my expectations when you compare it with In Deeper Waters but as a standalone for itself I feel that it's a very good book and it's a book that I feel that its target audience is going to enjoy completely absolutely loved it adored it in fact i read it in two sittings which is to say that i read it really fast and most people who know me would know that i'm not really a fast reader by any means so that was definitely a plus point the strongest points of this book is definitely the friendship the found family aspect the kind of representation that is in here of can figure out all their sexualities because they are all kind of very fluid and very open and inclusive and accepting but I could definitely see representation for gays, lesbian, bisexual and even pansexual to a fair extent and that's just to say that if you are looking for a book that's about love, romance, friendship, about happiness which also has lots of magic this is described as carry on by Rain Murall meets the Arthurian fantasy or mythology so if you like any of these things you would definitely enjoy it in fact even if you did love F.T. Lucan's other books which is In Deeper Waters and everything that they have done before then you will definitely enjoy this just as much as you enjoyed the other other books it's just as simple yet so comforting and non-triggering and just something that you want to hug and have a good time with and I feel that that's such an important thing to have considering the fact that the world that we live in sometimes can be so dark and so unforgiving and in such times all we need is like a place and characters who are 
sensitive and loving and not perfect but also still very perfect and they're funny and you just want to be friends with these people and that's what this book did for me it provided me with the perfect escape that i was looking forward to and i ended up giving it a four out of five stars which is to say that i really enjoyed this book and i don't see any reason why you shouldn't be adding this to your tbr or pre-ordering this if you can and reading this as soon as it comes out this is as i can see it comes out in march 2022 i'm not sure of the date but i will link it down in the description box below for you to check it out and that's pretty much about it if you have read this one or if you are planning to read this one or if you've read any of the other st lupin's books then be sure to let me know down in the comment section below i would love to know your thoughts and chat and talk more about these two very beautiful boys that you can see on cover matt and eric so till then, hope all of you are doing good and bye!